Paul, your yeah, first time back at Wrexham since that day in the National League playoffs. Uh, what are your memories of that day? Uh, just an incredible uh, game and ultimately an incredible outcome for everyone connected uh, with our football club. Still got that game um, at home. Um, I've watched it back a couple of times just to kind of take it in because on the day I think it got to the point where you know you, you kind of lose track of exactly what has happened and some of the incidents uh, within the game. So you know, it was you know a fantastic, like I said, day and, and a memory for us all that led ultimately to us being in this position and, and Wrexham, no surprise that the year after they used that disappointment and, and got themselves promoted and, and now I'm sure looking for back-to-back for -back promotions. So yeah, it was a, a great day, but some things have changed since then. Uh, but even just looking at the, the table and the teams that are expected to do well and have started relatively well, you know, that you just shows what a competitive division we were in. Uh, when when we got promoted. You touched straight there the, the start of their season and coming up and expecting another promotion. What do you make of how they started? I think they started well. You know, they had that first game when, when they lost and not making excuses. It's not my, not my place for them, I suppose, but I know all the, the pre-season that they had. And while that's fantastic for building the club's profile, etc., you know, I think if you ask Phil, uh, honestly, that's not the pre-season he would have picked, albeit again I'm sure they've had some great uh, experiences out there, um, but maybe not the biggest of surprise and, and again when everyone were talking about that game I'm looking at MK Dons and for me arguably the favourites going into the season so it was going to be difficult anyway uh, and since then that's yeah. their only, only defeat. Been lots of goals in their games, I think they, they always carry that goal threat even though they've had to make do without Paul Mullin up until last week. And you look at their additions that they've made, it almost feels a little unfair, but at the same time, you know, if you can go about it in that fashion and you've got them resources, then I'm sure everyone um, at all the other clubs that maybe look on with envious eyes would, would do the same. So um, what it does do is make them extremely strong. I look at the team, potentially what started last week, look at the, all the players that were either on the bench or not involved, and they've got a real strength of squad there. So, been no surprise to me. Similar to Stockport last season, I kind of, I guess, backed them all the way and were probably penalty kicks away from them actually getting that promotion. I expect something very similar from, from Wrexham. So it sounds like you're expecting another Stern League Two test tomorrow afternoon. They're all difficult, you know. It's just a, a more obvious difficult game in terms of um, the way that they came up. You know, they had to break records to get promoted, thanks to Notts County pushing them all the way. Um, and again, all the, the sort of hype. Hype's one thing, but actually, I think they backed you up in terms of what they they spend on the squad uh, and the quality that they've been able to bring into their football clubs so yeah it's an obvious game that you look at and think that's going to be really tough we have been you know pretty happy with the way that the season's gone today ourselves on the back of a good performance last week watching it back i think second half even we carried a bit more threat than maybe it looked and i think if you're not again emotionally attached to that game although they had some pressure and territory at times didn't really look like conceding and it took a, a really good goal to to change that I suppose so we can take a lot of pluses and confidence from it but also some learnings uh, and that's what we've tried to emphasise this week uh, but looking forward to another game that will be played out in front of a great atmosphere and um, certainly our fans will contribute to that as well. You've touched on the atmosphere there, you touched on Bradford as well. Um, the, the impressive first half showing from the lads last Saturday, quiet under home crowd to the extent they were booing them off at yeah. half time. How important will that be in front of a buoyant crowd tomorrow? It's always an aim when you go to anywhere and probably just more important when you're playing in front of bigger uh, attendances and passionate fans, which we know that the Wrexham fans are. Um, you know, the game he mentioned, he kind of to and fro and both sets of fans on the day, I think, were probably drained as well um, from that experience. 
uh, but we know what they can be like and just like we know how good our fans can be um, so it's it's always in the back of your mind to try and influence that probably got a little bit harder with the rule changes and no issues with that I think that's that's a positive uh, you know you've got to find ways to deal with it but just going back to last week I think that was another sort of impressive part of the performance for me as in you know, without giving it too much thought a lot of the lads that were played that would have been one of the biggest games of their careers today so to handle in terms of the attendance in terms of quality of opposition in terms of it being on sky i know we had our fa cup run but it, you know these experiences are still minimal probably for league two footballers so i think give him a lot of credit for the way that they, they handled that again we've looked at some things that we could have done better in that second half in particular as well as the first um but like I said, we're in pretty good spirits ourselves, and I think it should be, you know, a, a really competitive game tomorrow. And um, looking ahead to tomorrow's game and the squad that you've got available, is there any changes from what was available to you against Bradford? Um, Otis and Donovan have trained this week. Um, that doesn't mean that they're right and ready to to go, uh, but they've certainly, you know, moved in in, in the right direction. Uh, we have got one injury down that will remain anonymous as always uh, i'm sure you didn't need to ask that um so we'll we'll see but in the main a fit and healthy squad we've had certainly a couple of days <laughs> of, of really good training some will have needed those days in terms of getting up to speed a, a callum Ainley, for example and it doesn't mean they suddenly are but again moving in in that right direction as well as some of the other players so being pleased with the week uh, we train today, travel down, try and prepare as well as we can and and then see what happens tomorrow. I know we don't want to talk about individuals too much, but I am going to ask about Callum Ainley. He yeah. was on the bench um, last week, first full week training with you this week. What do you make of what you've seen from him? I think I listened to his interview and he touched on training and maybe found that quite intense. That, that That's fine. I've said it, it's no surprise when we hear those things often now. I think it's the norm and there's a little bit we have to take that into consideration when assessing the player and looking at them at the same time what we want and what he's certainly shown is a willingness to get on with it to try his best and I expect him to get better I think with a lot of these uh, well a lot of players that we've managed not only now but previously we try and prepare them the best we can and make them better and if part of that is the sort of approach to training and improving the fitness Hopefully the resilience, that maybe some of their um, mental capabilities as well, then that can only benefit them moving forward. You know, if they, if people leave you and then go somewhere, and it's not everywhere, but go to you know some clubs and think this is easier, well that's more power to them realistically. Um, so he's he's got on board. He seems as always integrated into the group well. Again, the overnight stay last week and, and again today will we'll help on that side. Um, so hopefully he can you know, really get to where he wants to be and he's comfortable so he can start impacting and trying to you know, get in a start in our, in our team.